How many were the gardens and the fountains that are behind? You go to Spain, the only thing you can see in Spain is the Alhambra, the Granada, whatever forefathers left. You see those monumental buildings. You see the fountains there. You see the fountains there and the gardens laid out by our ancestors. There is nothing else to see in Spain except bullfights. Any other thing to see in Spain is bullfights, you know, you know bullfights. And the castanets, you know the women, when they do their little dances, they do click, 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 you know, they have something in their hand. Besides that, there is nothing in Spain except what our forefathers left. They're reading these verses of the Quran. They're repeating these verses of the Quran, but they're laughing at the Egyptians. People of Iran, you know, how many were the gardens and the fountains they left behind, and cornfields and monumental buildings. <laughs> you see the fools, the Egyptians, they did that. Eight plagues, nine plagues, plagues after plagues, Allah sent to them, destroyed Firon and his army. <laughs> they big laughs, the fools, they didn't hit the warning. They didn't know that they were in the firing line themselves. You are in the firing line. They're laughing at the other fool. This is the nature of man, all of us. We laugh at the other fellow. When we see that it is we who are in the mess, they didn't hit the warning. Allah says, Fatarabbasu, they did Fatarabbasu. Allah says, wait, and they waited. For what? For destruction. And destroyed. The Middle East, under Harun al-Rashid, Mahmoud al-Rashid, a veritable fairy land. A veritable fairy land. Baghdad, Samarkand, Bukhara. The scenes that existed then, you can't reproduce those scenes anymore except on film. Hollywood is the only one that can do it. In real life, no more. The beauty, the riches. The opulence. No more. You can't produce those things anymore. On the borders with the Mongols, the Tatars, barbarians, we laughed at them. Fools. You know, those fools. What can you take, talk to them about Islam? What can they understand about Islam? The Spanish people, the Arabs reason. What can they understand about Islam? Pig eaters. These are all pig eaters. Who? The Spanish people. They are wine people, drunkards. What can they understand about Islam? These Mongols, barbarians, what can they understand about Islam? This is the mentality. Allah says, Fatah Rabbas. These Muslims are our brothers. They kept nice, nice beards, better than mine. Yes, they prayed five times a day. They read the Subha, the Tasbih. They went for Hajj. They gave Zakat. They didn't drink. They didn't gamble. They didn't dance. Wonderful Muslims. Good Muslims. Allah, they were good Muslims. Perhaps as good as us or better than us. But they didn't propagate the faith. They didn't share the faith. With the Mongols, barbarians, what can they understand? I said, your forefathers could. You haven't? Your forefathers, before Islam, that era we call it Ayyamul Jahiliya, the days of ignorance. No? Ayyamul Jahiliya, the days of ignorance. These Arabs, our ancestors, you know, they married their stepmothers. Did the Spanish people do that? They buried the daughters alive. Did the Mongols do that? Drunkards, adulterers, gamblers, fratricidal wars. They made the tawaf around the Kaaba absolutely naked. Men and women, not even a G-string. These white women, they put a G-string. You know that little piece. These Arabs, they didn't even have that around the Kaaba. They reasoned very beautifully. They said, what can we present ourselves before Allah that is good enough? They said, so we present ourselves as Allah sent us into the world. Very good logic. They made the tawaf absolutely naked, these Arabs. Allah could transform them through his book, Al-Quran al karim But with his revelation, he could transform them into a nation of torchbearers and light and learning. He could do that to you. Rubbish! You who married your stepmothers, you who buried your daughters alive, he could change you. He can't change the Spanish people? No. He can't change through Allah's kalam the Mongols? No. That's your mentality. Allah says, Fatah Rabbas, you wait. And they waited. You know, sometimes we misunderstand instructions. Allah says, wait, it doesn't mean wait. It's a warning. Like somebody, a small boy here, 10 year, 12 year old, suppose he's misbehaving and you give him a smack. So he tells me, he says, uncle, wait, I'll bring my big brother along. And his big brother happens to be the biggest bully, biggest hooligan in Manhattan. You're going to wait for him? You're going to wait for him? <laughs> he's telling you to wait. Uncle, wait. No, that wait doesn't mean wait. He's warning you. He said, look, you wait. Let my brother come. <laughs> he will fix your right. A Frenchman, a Frenchman was learning English. 
trying to learn English. You see, sitting in a skyscraper, one of your Manhattan skyscrapers, learning English, just come from overseas, mastering English. He's mastering English grammar. And sitting near the window, he hears a shout. Look out! Look out! And he looked out, and a brick grazed him. Fortunately, he didn't die. So what's this? He said, look out. So I looked out. He says, no, the Englishman said, when he said, look out, means pass up, be born, don't look out. Look in. When I say look out, means look in, don't look out. <laughs> misunderstand, misunderstand. You think Allah is making us to misunderstand this? No. He's warning us, look out. Fatarapas means look out. Means be careful. Who cares? And this is Allah's law. That is a law. Allah is is working according to his own law. He is not bound by any law. But there is a law. Everything according to law. There is a law that Allah puts certain honor. He gives you certain honor, certain position, certain status. And if you do not carry out your responsibilities according to that status Allah gives you, He will, as He says, يَسْتَبْدِلْ قَوْمًا خَيْرَكُمْ He will substitute in your place another people. Then they won't be like you. It's an eternal law. In the religious history of mankind, Allah Ta'ala chose the Jews in the first instance. He chose the Jews, the Yahudis, the Bani Israel for His blessings. He sent prophets after prophets to them. He gave them revelation after revelation. Out of the four heavenly books, we affirm that we believe in. We say we believe in the Torah, we believe in the Zabur, we believe in the Injil, and we believe in the Furqan. Furqan is the Quran. Out of these four heavenly books, three, 75% are Jewish books. Torah sent to Hazrat Musa a Jew. Zabur given to Hazrat Dawud a Jew. Injil given to Hazrat Isa a Jew. Jew, Jew, Jew. Of all the names we give our children, you know, prophetic names, holy names, we say Musa, Dawood, Suleiman, Ishaq. These are Jewish names. Jews, Jews, Jews. We give them not because they are Jewish names, because these are the names of the righteous servants of God. Hazrat Musa, Hazrat Dawood, Hazrat Suleiman, Hazrat Isa. For that reason we give these names to our children. They are the names of the righteous servants of God. We give our children Jewish names. We believe in 75% of the books. Almost all the prophets that we know, except our Nabi Akhir, we Jews, 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 or Jewish background. Allah chose them. Allah tells us in the Quran, Ya Bani Israel, as Quru Ni'matilatiyan unto Alaikum. He says, O children of Israel, remember the special favors which I did unto you. Wa anni faddal tu kumal al alameen, that I preferred you above all the peoples of the earth for my special favors. Allah preferred them. He chose them to become the torch bearers of His light and learning to the world. But they made the religion a racial religion. You have to be born a Jew to be a Jew. You can't become a Jew. You know that? You have to be born one to be a Jew. If you want to with the white man in South Africa, sometimes they fall in love with the Jewish girl, and the Jewish girl, if she is in a particular, she says, no, 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 I can't marry you unless you become a Jew. So they have to go through a process. They have to master Hebrew. They have to learn more than the rabbi, the priest. And one man, he writes in the newspaper, and at the age of 23, he says, I was painfully circumcised to become a Patka Jew, complete. And yet he's a third grade Jew. He's still not accepted. You can go through all the process, but you're still a third grade Jew. That's why it's not for the blacks. We are blacks. I'm black in South Africa. We are not wanted at all. You black, my brother. You're not wanted at all. The Arab is black in my country. If he's a Muslim. If he's a Lebanese Christian, he's white. <laughs> Lebanese Muslim, black. Syrian Christian, white. Syrian Muslim, black. Cypriote Greek, he's white. Cypriot Turk, even with blonde hair and blue eyes, he's black. That's, that's a sickness. That's besides the point. We are not discussing that. We'll talk about ourselves. So Allah Bari Ta'ala makes Hazrat Isa a Jew among the Jews to tell his people that the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. This is his law. Yastabdil qawmin You don't do your job, Allah chose us. 
He says, Kuntum khaira ummatin nas. You are the best of people evolved for mankind. What makes you the best of people? Because you say, I've got Arab blood in me, I'm a Pakistani, I'm a Bangladesh. What, what, what? what? He says, Ta'muruna bil ma'rufi wa tanhawna nil munkar. Because you enjoy what is right and you forbid what is wrong. Wa tu'minuna billah and you believe in Allah. If these are your qualities, you are the best of people. Once the state is honor is given to you, it carries with it certain responsibilities. No honor without responsibility. Look at our Imam. He has more responsibilities than the Muazzin. The Muazzin has more responsibilities than the sweeper, the cleaner. Do you agree? 